Hi witches! So today we are talking about the full moon. Now it is tonight, Saturday the 18th of December, and today's moon, or tonight's moon, peaks at 1136 Eastern Standard Time. So do the math, figure it out for your guys' selves. Um, and yeah, so this moon is called the cold moon. Um, it's also called the drift clearing moon by the Cree Nation, the frost exploding trees moon by the Cree Nation, the snow moon by the Haida and the Cherokee and the Winter Maker Moon by the Western Abenaki Nation. So, just wanted to let you guys know about that. I think it's really interesting. Um, in Europe, pagans also called the December moon the moon before Yule um, or the moon right before the winter solstice. So, um, that does apply to this moon because the winter solstice is the 21st this year. So, um, what is the December cold moon all about? Really, it's kind of the same sort of energy that we've been working with a lot in the last month or so, right? This moon really like exemplifies the energy of the things that we've been talking about a lot in the last like month to six weeks, right? It's all about introspection. It's all about soul searching. It's all about like getting back in touch with who you are as a person. It's about understanding where you are now and where you would like to be following Yule in the new year, right? So um, it also is a good time just for rest and relaxation, self-care. It's kind of that like waning moon energy that I know I keep talking about. I hope that analogy makes sense. I feel like it makes sense to me. But anyways, let's talk about some of the correspondences for the full cold moon, right? Okay, so the colors that are associated with this moon that you can use to decorate your altar are very similar to the ones associated with Yule. Um, so that is red, green, white, black, um, silver. I would argue um, like gold and um, yellow as well for the sun um, and the returning of the sun, yes. Some gems associated with this moon are of course, as always, clear quartz, moonstone, um, selenite, but also obsidian, ruby, emerald, garnet, um, basically anything that is associated with Yule is also kind of associated with this moon. Um, bloodstone's another one. Um, and those are all things that you can add to your altar or that might be beneficial to any workings that you are doing for this full moon, which we'll get to in a second. Um, some of the deities that are best honored during this time or this moon are Osiris, Persephone and Hades, um, any of the crone goddesses that we've talked about, any of the deities that are associated with Yule that we've talked about. Um, those are really just great to venerate during this full moon. Um, herbs that you can use in your spellcraft include ivy, holly, um, anything that we talked about in our Yule video, really. Um, and of course, sage, rosemary, um, any sort of healing and protective herbs are really great to use during the full moon as well. Of course, you can always use sage and rosemary to cleanse, but if you're looking to spice things up, maybe adding some pine or cedar in there can also be great uh, for cleansing your house for this full moon. What can you do to celebrate the full cold moon or really just like take advantage of the energy that it is associated with? Um, so of course you can do my kind of go-to thing of like cleansing and upping my protections. But one of the things that I'm going to be doing um, around this time is decluttering my house. Um, so I'm going to go through, take all of my clothes out of my closet, go through and figure out which ones I want to keep and which ones I want to get rid of. I'm going to go through like all of my makeup, all of my craft supplies, donate what I can, just kind of like give things to people who need them as best I can. I'm also going to be revisiting my goals for myself, for my practice, for my career, for everything um, a little bit closer to the new year, but I'm also going to be kind of like thinking and ruminating about the things that I want to put in action during the next new moon. I think this full moon is also a great time to do shadow work, which I know a lot of people are like, well, you should only do shadow work during the new moon and stuff like that. But um, I, I don't, I don't personally like subscribe to that belief. So there's just, that's just me. Um, but I think this is a good time to get rid of anything. And I know I keep, I've said that for the last couple full moons, but like get rid of anything that you do not want to bring with you into 2022. If you are interested in kind of these banishing magics, I do have a lot of like spells, guided rituals. Um, I have like a cord cutting spell, anything that you need to deal with prior to 2022 in order to be your best self, I recommend doing uh, during the full moon. Me personally, I'm going to be kind of going over my goals. Um, I'm going to actually be decorating for Yule a little bit more, which I think is going to be very, very fun. Um, and is also something that you can do during the full moon in order to be like a little bit more festive. Um, I am going, so I'm going to be going over my goals. I'm going to be decorating. I'm going to be decluttering. 
um, and just generally having like a pretty good day. So yeah, I'm going to be looking at my goals, decorating, um, resetting everything in my house basically, um, and just really getting ready for 2022. So I hope you guys will join me in that and I hope you guys have a great full moon. I'll see y'all later. Bye.